What's up guys? Welcome back to Motivation Monday. I want to show you a little something interesting. Local Kroger. Alright guys, so we're doing something a little bit different today. We decided to bring you to the local supermarket for the bread lovers. We was talking about last week how we focused in on the pop drinkers and things. So we're going to look at some of the breads and how much sugar is in them. Okay. Alright, so this is one of the more popular brands. It's supposed to have only 35 calories per slice. But if you look on the side with the label, it has a total of 26 carbohydrates. Three of those are sugars. And at three slices per serving, there's 110 calories in this specific bread. So, go. All right, so this is the Bunny Giant Pack, the most convenient one. If you look on the side of this one, per two slices is the same exact amount as the lower calorie one. So still, there's quite a bit of sugar, which we'll be demonstrating later on. All right, another one of the crowd favorites, by far, has a great flavor. But, I think the conspiracy of wheat bread being better can be cracked with this. One slice is two sugars. So, just in one piece alone, this is more than the other two breads itself. So, wheat bread might be healthier alternative with wheats and grains, but as far as the sugar content, it's not very much different. So, with that being said, those breads are just white breads and wheat breads, so... What's the theory on, what, what do we say, uh, whole wheat and fiber type of breads? Alright, so, it's supposed to be healthier, right? Um, let's take a look. Alright, so, judging by this label here, we still have 3 grams per one slice. So, we'll say that's not the best for the health. So, obviously, with all that being said, we'd have to show you something healthier, right? Here we go. If you still love the bread, this is it right here. Zero sugars, six net carbs. This is the way to go. This is good with any type of meat, steak, chicken, whatever you want to wrap it up in, or even if you just want to eat it on the side, this is the way to go. All right, so needless to say, you may have some different stores near you, such as Trader Joe's or Jungle Gems or somewhere like that, but around here, Kroger's. That's the place to go. They got the best produce. All right, guys, so as we promised, we're going to go through some things, and we're going to find out how much sugar exactly does a, a loaf of bread look like. So here we go. All right, so typically there are two to three grams of sugar per two to three slices of bread, okay? So just to give you an idea what that looks like, it's about that much sugar. doesn't look like it's too terrible until you decide to eat the loaf of bread. So we're coming in roughly 36, between 30 and 36 grams of sugar per loaf of bread, which is quite a bit if you're trying to cut the pounds. Now once again I want to reiterate I'm not a dietitian, I'm not a physician or anybody like that, I'm just giving my whole based opinions. This is strictly just my opinion. But if you look at that, um, obviously the better alternative would probably be doing some carb, low carb wraps. So if you are still looking for the bread sensation, the soft, fluffy feeling, if you, you know, you're very open to different things, try, try some low carb wraps. You can find them at your local Walmart, Kmart, you know, wherever you're shopping at. So might be a helpful tip. All right, friends. So we are down some weight and I'm very excited about it. We saw some good improvement. But before I show you that, I thought I would hand the camera to my little brother who just so happened to come in from North Carolina this weekend. And I want him to give you the best motivational speech that I have heard in a long time that I could not have said better myself. So listen to this. What up guys? It's uh, Noah Luke here and I wanted to tell you that have you ever been feeling down, sad? you can't do something like lose weight well i'm here to tell you lose weight you can do it you can do it just chase your dream because when i chase my dream i do it i go for it nothing is impossible i didn't use some fancy program to lose weight i, I didn't do it that's i did it all natural so if you want to do it 
go out there. And all the, in the end, you're the one who's looking good. You're the one who's who did it. You're the one who worked for it. You're the one who achieved it. You can do it. Go for it. Chase your dream. Nothing is impossible. So, for the sake of me, and for the sake of yourself, lose that fat, feel good, look all natural with a six pack and some really big muscles and you'll be looking good trust me i'm going for my dream and i'm doing it i'm doing what i want to do and i want to look natural i want to look skinny i want to do my dream and that's what i'm doing so this has been no luke with some motivational tips and i'll see y'all in the next so for as young as he is, I thought that the man did a very good job, and he has lost a, quite a bit of weight since he's been growing up. Um, like I said, he's been on some medicinal steroids and things like that, and he's had a very hard time, and he's had a very large appetite to keep that weight on. So he's trying to change his life, and I respect that, and I respect anybody trying to do that. So good job to Noah. Alright, so I guess it's time to cough up the numbers. This is what we weighed in this morning. So I have now officially lost 15 pounds. I cannot tell you how that feels in just words. I mean emotions are definitely high. I mean I'm very excited about things and to know that I was only 30 pounds away from 300 pounds blows my mind. Um, you know, with diet and exercise, I'm I'm living proof. It works. You just, you got to stick with it. You know, stay dedicated and stay motivated. And with the support of you all, I can't ask for any more. You all have been great. I just want to say this. This is, this is me talking. I wanted to tell you all that, you know, it goes further than just the challenge. Um, you know, I was very intrigued and interested to lose weight previous to the challenge. Of course, it was a massive boost, but it, it you know, previous to this, I was, eh, you know, I'm, I'm going to cut the weight someday, but now I am absolutely, there's a fire under my tail that I cannot put in description. Um, I eat, sleep, and breathe what I'm going to eat next, exercise next, and you know, it is it is completely consuming, and you know, I'm glad that I actually have the capability and the mindset and everything, the willpower to make it happen. And uh, you know, despite some complications every now and again, you know, it's never going to be easy. You know, unfortunately, it's never going to be easy. That's how life is. But we made it, man. Fifteen pounds down. I'm happy. I can't I can't say anything else. I'm just I'm very happy, and. My next goal is going to be around, you know, to see the fours on the scale again, 249, 248. So I feel like that's in the near future. I still got a lot of work to do, and I've still put a lot of work into it. So, um, you know, we're seeing results. I'm very happy about it. It's been a very, very uh, progressive week, and I look forward to next Monday. And uh, I wanted to also add that we are adding one juice a day into our diet so we are taking vegetables fresh vegetables fresh fresh fruits and we are juicing them condensing them down and we are drinking them for the nutrients so we're cutting a meal substituting a juice we're not doing the crazy juice fast where you do it for a week we decided that there might be some issues with possibilities of putting yourself into starvation mode and things like that now i understand that it is a cleansing thing but we're going to do another alternative later to do that. So one juice a day, along with the low-carb diet that we've been doing and exercise, is now what the new diet is. Alongside of that. All right, so I'm not getting paid to say any of this. I'm not promoting any products. But this is what I found on the market. I feel like it's going to suit me for a little while. This is Muscle Farm. Um, I've always believed in Muscle Farm products. Uh, this here, one good scoop, 24 grams of protein. I told you I was upping my protein intake and I have been consuming protein, but this right here I feel like is going to be the extra muscle builder. You know, it's got a lot of good nutrients in it and it's got quite a few different types of protein. For example, whey protein hyd um, hydro hydrosylate, whey protein isolate, whey protein concentrate, egg 
Al there's a lot of long words on here, I'm sorry. Ig albunum bunum. This is gonna go on the bloopers, I think. And then micellular casing. So there are all kinds of different things in there. Big scientific words. But there are great things that they have multi purpose, slow acting, fast acting, something you can actually take before you go to sleep and it shouldn't harm you or put weight on you. It's good for the nutrients. Also I got it in a convenient chocolate flavor, so pretty excited about that. I actually have not opened this yet. But I am very excited to get to try it. And I'll probably drink some tonight. So I'm going to get some, yeah. And for the nutrition gurus out there, there are five carbs, one dietary fiber, and two sugars. So realistically, there are four carbs, two sugars per scoop. Not horrible. Now, of course, it's going to defer whether you mix it with water or milk. I've not tried it yet, so I can't recommend that. I'll have to see how the flavor is. But I got a pretty strong stomach, so I could probably handle it. The good news is spring's coming around the corner for the people that's on the east coast over here. Bad news is that means that swimsuit bikini weather is getting close. So, yeah. That means I better be cracking down because if I decide to go to the beach this summer, I'm pretty sure that I want to look good. So, this whole muffin thing I got going on here ain't going to be, you know, nothing, no, not good. Not good for any viewing. So, me and Picky here, we are still supporting breast cancer. So, we're going to find that right in this area somewhere. And for those that are still wanting to enter the challenge, it is not too late. Any time is a good time for me. So, we're going to be including my personal email down here on the bottom. And for those that's wanting to like and subscribe, you'll see a feature video on one side. And you will see subscription box on the other. Just poke my face. Hit that little subscribe button. But, we're going to get out of here. We thank you all very much for thank you all very much for the support and everything that you're doing. Don't forget to keep God first and we love you all. God bless. Have a great evening.